Hi everyone, it's Ron here at Some Odd Lens. Today I'm going to show you how to calibrate infinity focus on a Canon FD 28 F2 SSC lens. Now it's important to understand why focus calibration is required on this lens. When we converted this lens to EF using the Simod Edmica EF conversion kit, the mount that we produced had to be slightly larger or longer uh, than the native uh, FD mount uh, to create it to create the thickness that we wanted uh, in order to make that mount more robust. By making the mount thicker, it pushed the lens up by a little bit further from the sensor. So therefore we have to correct uh, that on the lens to tell it where to stop and give it some more room or give it some more room in order to focus at infinity. Now, when we put the lens at infinity at, at the where, where it's at right now, it's not sharp at its farthest distance. Um, we sort of need the lens to go over past this infinity mark. So literally we need to give it some more space to allow this back element to move further out. So we need to readjust the hard stop on the focus barrel to allow it to go a little bit further. There's no finite measurement in terms of how much further it needs to go. It's just something that you'll need to adjust and try again and, and redo over and over again until you find that sweet spot. So we do need to remove this focus barrel and get underneath it in order to calibrate the infinity hard stop. So first we'll need a uh, rubber spanner and we'll just open that the uh, nameplate. And this nameplate just simply comes off. Uh, there are some instances where I could not get the nameplate off because it just seized. It's just plastic and, and aluminum and the threads may have seized. So that's also a common issue. Once the nameplate is removed, we see three screws that we need to uh, remove. So using a JIS screwdriver and applying firm downward pressure, we'll remove those screws very carefully and put it aside because we do need to reuse them when we reassemble the lens. Once the three screws are removed, this plate just comes off. Sometimes it's sticky. Uh, because there may be some some grease or some residue that's holding it in in place uh, I mean it is 30 or 40 years old So you do need to pry it open a bit harder sometimes it depends on the lens and the copy that you have So once that plate is removed um, We need to remove three more screws now it be careful not to remove the top screws those Are never removed that those top screws on this top level remain in place because if you do remove it this glass element will pop out what you want to remove are the three bottom layer bottom level um, screws that you see here at the bottom so we'll go ahead and remove that once those three, three screws are removed we'll be able to lift the focus barrel off of the lens and we'll be able to see where the hard stop is and adjust it. So once the three screws are removed, we can simply just lift up and the focus barrel should come loose. Again, depending on your copy, it could be harder to move than others uh, because there could be gunk um, that's built up in there and, and will cause it to uh, to cause some resistance. So once we remove the focus barrel, now we're able to see where the hard stop is on the lens. So remember we needed to have the lens move a little bit further when we uh, hit infinity. So this adjustment here, this tab is being held by these three screws and this part here hits the chassis of the lens and it tells it where to stop. So right now natively when it was at when it was on the FD mount this is where infinity 
was sharpest. Now that we've converted it to EF, we need to give it some more room to gain sharpness. So we will need to re... We're not going to remove it. Um, I'm just going to loosen it. And by loosening it, it allows me to move this plate. So we'll just remove the first one in this instance because we need to move this way. We need to move that way. We need to move left. So we need to remove one of the three screws. And we'll, by doing that, we'll be able to shift this plate left or right. Now it de depends on the lens and where it's at. So um, you may need to remove that screw in order to shift it or not. Or you may just need to loosen the three screws. So now that we've gotten fairly it fairly loose, you don't want to lose any of these screws, so don't remove them all. What you want to do from here is put this lens on a camera. You're going to put it on a camera and then focus at infinity, or where you think this hard stop is at infinity. Once you've found the infinity mark, let's just, for example, assume that infinity is right at this point here. So what I'd usually do is just make a tick, just draw a line with a, with a, a tweezer or something just to, to mark it. And there's my line and it'll tell me when I take this off the, off the body of the camera, it'll tell me to bring the focus to that line and bring this stopper to align with that line. Then I'm going to tighten down the screw all three screws, reinstall my third one, and that is the new infinity mark for this lens. That's before it was, let's say it was here, but we've allowed it more room because of the thickness of the lens to move further down, so we've adjusted this plate to do so. And that is how you adjust infinity. So to put it back together, so now that we've retightened the three screws, we'll leave it at the new infinity mark, it's very important, and then we're going to reinstall this focus ring. We're going to leave it at infinity and we're going to align this orange line to the infinity mark and slide it in very carefully and make sure it is aligned to that infinity mark. We put it up on its side and we're going to reinstall the three screws. Now normally I would put this lens on a collimator and make my adjustments on a collimator. Understanding that not everyone has a collimator, um, using a camera and, and finding the farthest spot and adjusting calibra infinity calibration at that at uh, the distance, the best that you can do on the cameras is, is just fine. Mm. So that's the new hard stop. The focus barrel is securely on the lens. We'll reinstall this plate by lining the, the three screws, or four holes, sorry. There is a pattern to the holes, so just uh, Keep turning until all four holes align. Sorry, in this instance it's three. So we'll reinstall the three screws. Once the three screws are installed, we're gonna just reinstall the nameplate that we've removed. Now this, this is a plastic nameplate that screws onto an aluminum threaded ring. So sometimes threads can bind. And there are some instances where you just have to push it down and skip a thread in order to get it to sit evenly. Um, so it all, it all depends on the condition of the copy that you have. And there we have it.